And at the Vatican, a first for the faithful. Bones, believed to be those of St. Peter, displayed publicly for the first time. Pope Francis held the remains at Sunday service. Alan Pizzi is in Rome. Alan, good morning. Good morning. The bones were found after during an 11-year excavation under the St. Peter's Basilica that began in 1939. They were close to some graffiti in ancient Greek that was interpreted as, Peter is here. The mass at which they were displayed for the first time marked the end of the year of the faith. One reason they were kept hidden for so long is an ongoing debate over whether or not the bones really are St. Peter's. Scientific tests conducted on the nine bone fragments, now resting in a jewel box inside a bronze case, showed only that they belonged to a robust man who died in his 60s. No pope has definitively declared that they do belong to St. Peter, but in 1968, Pope Paul VI said they had been identified in a way we believe to be convincing. The man considered to be the first pope was crucified in the year 64 AD on the site where the basilica built in his name now stands. Venerating his relics is an integral part of the Catholic faith, according to Father Gino Silve of Patterson, New Jersey. We adore God, we worship God, we reverence God, we honor the saints, and that's what veneration is. Pope Francis clutched the box in an almost loving embrace when he prayed over them during the service. The examples and style of the 266th Pope have increased church attendance and even impressed non-Catholics like Mary Muniz of Stafford, Virginia. He seems more in tune with what I think Christianity should be, which is to be more given and, and less selfish. The fact that the crowd swelled after the Mass for a chance to see Pope Francis up close is a clear indicator of his appeal. And it's not just ordinary people who are lining up to see him, so too are politicians. The latest is Russian President Vladimir Putin. He's due at the Vatican later today, and according to local press reports, he's brought along 11 cabinet ministers, 50 cars, and 50 journalists. Charlie, Nora? All right, Alan, thank you.